but it, um, I thought I'll do a small flip through of my um, mini journal just started two months back and it has the work which I teach um, I'll, I'll be teaching uh, I'll be teaching weekly now at the senior rehab and care center in my city and this is what I'll be teaching and I thought I'll just share some of my work with you it's more fluid more organic more doodle like more but it's very relaxing it's great for anybody wanting um, to relax um, having difficulty with st stable hands and but do want to build that strength so it's great for that it's great for people wanting new inspiration um, the, this is a whole process which I developed over the last two years um, to teach myself art. I had so much difficulty sketching. I never sketched before um, except for when I was a child and I remember one drawing which I did and I people, uh, my classmates liked it so much I had to repeat it over and over again. I did like eight copies of it. So that's the one I remember of, um, not Peter Pan, Pied Piper. So Pied Piper on the tree. So that's what I did. And I distributed to all my classmates, like eight of them. Uh, and that's the only sketch I remember. I love painting, but my painting had been more abstract. But over a period of time, I've been going towards trying to sketch, bring out shapes, bring out forms. And that's what I try to do. And this, this whole process is about relaxing. The main purpose is to relax your mind let the inspiration flow let your mind be relaxed um, I had suffered depression in the past and this is something which takes me off the anxiety whenever I'm feeling anxious recently there was so much activity or it is so much activity going on in my life I've been selected at the regional level exhibition there is more exhibition coming I have some art demonstrations to do to some senior artists and uh, there is so much going on in my world and it just drives me excited and which is not a excitement is good but if it stays long it's not really very good so this is where I come to every time I'm anxious excited or just too much hyperactive um, you know I just want to relax my mind get into a space which is safe for me which is um, you know creative but safe but you know peaceful this is my peaceful space that's where I go to um, so I'll do a flip through of my journal for you um, I am so sorry I'm still using my iPad and there would be times where I'll have to rotate the pages and I'll have to adjust so there would be a bit of flickering and all that happening okay so this journal page started two months back I was on a flight and that's when it started um, the first page went to became a card and went to a lady I wanted to give on the flight um, just to cheer her up there's a story behind it but I don't think it's uh, why I wanted to cheer her up uh, but probably I don't want to share it now but that's that's and then I was taking this journal it was a it is a Strathmore journal and I doodled over it too much and when I was taking it for a demo I did you know, to a group of artists I thought I need to like make it look pretty and I did more doodle and just scribble and paint and all of that through over it just wrote something over it creative and intuitive doodling my work is very intuitive as you know so um, that's what I did and I'm now planning to take this journal to uh, art uh, art show for doctors and nurses uh, at one lab and I'm going to change the cover again but this is the cover at now uh, at present and let's flip through it so here are some things which I did um, Oh, so it's okay just let me get my flower vase out of the way it's okay so this is uh, when I was making the card I, I was on the plane and um, I would look down the window and see some shapes I would note them note them down doodle them 
and then I was doing and then when I was making the card I wanted to write some something in the card for the lady and I wrote more small joys uh, rewards wonders and adventures of life um, so that's what I wrote and I picked up these words randomly from magazine I was trying to make some uh, some message for her in the card so that's what I did in here and this is a full page of doodles I did uh, while being on the plane um, it goes like that and you know I I was not signing my work too much you know and people who bought that work from me they would say why don't you sign it and I was like I don't know uh, maybe the time has not come for me to sign and recently I started signing my work you know so this journal this is a journal but I sign each of this page because I know um, some of the pages from here would be framed very soon three of the pages have been asked to be framed already which I did yesterday and it's already going to be a frame painting so this is another one this is my technique of auto autodidactic uh, technique where I would scribble and paint and it's this process emerged from a spiritual process which is called automatic writing I was asked by a friend to try that and I I don't know what that is and but I, I love painting so I tried something called automatic painting and drawing and that's my process uh, it's it's a whole process um, it's a step-by-step -step process um, of many techniques combined together um, so uh, this is like a phoenix rising uh, which I and I always teach see the unseen so try to see what what is hidden between these lines and colors so this is another relaxing doodle I did and there is a breathe in breathe out technique with this um, which I follow um, sorry that's my dishwasher so this is again a page which is still not complete very, very fluid shapes around it I'm not sure what I'm going to finish with it but, but that's what it is for now this page is something which is still not finished and this is I like some shapes somewhere and I thought maybe let me just put it on paper with different colors and that's a lot of lines and shapes in there this is again one full page so this is this is a combination of two techniques which I have like breathe in breathe out and uh, which is with doodles I do and um, uh, the other is my autodidactic process uh, so it's it's a um, I was trying to make one page of each kind and um, yeah so this is the breathe in breathe out technique now this is again the autodidactic technique so you can see a lot of birds here emerging out of it um, and this process is very universal I mean especially when I'm struggling for any inspiration I just go to this process and I work on this Again, this is breathe in, breathe out, a lot of doodles with different colors. Um, uh, this is again letting my emotions out. There is a lot of writing, there is a lot of doodling, there is a lot of, lot of energy in this painting. Uh, this is again sort of doodles, but it's a combination of both the things. It was autodidactic, it would emerge out and then I would doodle. Um, this is again sort of... I had an idea of what I want to do but I kept doing it and this is how it emerged um, so it's breathe in breathe out um, I'm just rushing through this okay now this one is a special painting which which emerged out uh, from my autodidactic process and I liked it so much uh, the composition on especially in the top the angels I wanted to draw some angels and paint some and I made a big painting out of it. It's 18 by 24 painting, which I did. And it's a beautiful painting. I'll I'll probably post the image at the end of it. Uh, I'll attach the image of it. This is again, uh, we were all waiting eagerly for the spring. And then, you know, it's been a long winter here. And we wanted so badly to see the spring. So this came out of that. And it's, it's a, again, it's a combination of, a uh, couple of my techniques in here but mostly doodling uh, breathe in breathe out um, this is again doodling but autodidactic form where 
things emerged so this is um the native american bird thunderstorm bird i think uh, which emerged and there was um it was a intuitive work so it's 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 a doodling intuitive work uh from my uh, using my autodidactic process okay that's a long one but yeah that is how it is and there every symbol which emerged out from my intuitive paintings has a meaning and this one had a special meaning for me at that point of time and that was great see i signed this and then again this is combination of my fluid techniques along with some doodling um I have to move this a bit okay i hope you get a better view now it's a nice one and i'm i think i'll frame this for myself and again here it's an autodidactic process which i did um when i was doing the workshop uh for other artists so i was working on my page as well it's not finished but that's uh that's what was happening there and here is okay we were eagerly waiting for spring so there's a spring bear which emerged and it said okay i have done enough of my hibernation i really am waiting for spring to come out so it's a spring bear so he is still hibernating but just so much eagerly waiting for the spring to come up to come okay okay so that's the first sign of spring yes we do have spring coming Okay, so that's my schedule for classes. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, this is again from my autodidactic process. Um, deer emerged this time. I wanted to paint deer, and I could not. I could not sketch. I had so much difficulty, and it just emerged one fine day. Okay, so this is a spring. this is still not complete lot of emotions thrown in there i just kept writing i was upset one day and i was just putting all my energy out on a paper and this is the paper okay you can see how it goes it gets very intense at times okay now these are the ones i did yesterday and they are going to be frame paintings already reserved for somebody so it's a series of 3 or 4 so let's another one these are more botanical studies you can say which i did um i was just trying to relax myself yesterday i was so excited about the things happening at my end and it was like my mind would not shut down it would keep keep constantly working about what i'm going to do in my next workshop what i'm going to do teach what i'm going to talk what i'm going to uh, you know display what exhibition what uh, you know so much and i was like okay let's put everything on, on the side and let's get to relax ourselves So this is what I was trying to do some studies more doodling relaxing myself and these are again sold. So I think I'll be doing more of these. Um I liked it and probably this will be one of my workshops I'll be doing. Okay, so that's it. That's that's so far my journal. There are a few more pages to go. Um I thought I'll keep the journal as it is, but looks like I'll have to let go of some pages because they are being sold i'm so happy thank you thanks for watching bye